I've made some, um, they're called apple spider web pops. Now you see this one has a knife in the end of it, which I think is very appropriate for Halloween. Uh, so it shows that you can use almost anything as the handle. These are little cake pop sticks, or you could probably use popsicle sticks or even maybe a fork, a plastic fork. So I'm gonna show you how to make these. Uh, the recipe that I'll be making will make uh, eight like this. As always, before we start cooking, we wash our hands really well. The first thing you do is wash your apples. Now, the recipe calls for uh, Granny Smith's, but probably didn't have any when I picked these up. So I got the Honey Crisp, which is a good, crisp, hard apple, so it should work just fine. First thing you do, first thing you do is you slice off just a little thin piece on each side. We're going to make two thick slices on each side of the apple. And try not to get the core. So if you do, you can kind of get rid of it. So we're gonna turn the apple around. We're gonna get another slick, thick slice here. And one here. Now two apples will make four, just like this. Um, actually, two apples will make eight. That's made from one apple. So we want to, um, if you get into the core a little bit, just you just need to kind of pull that out, and make sure there are no seeds and no tough spots. Okay, we're going to slice up this other apple now. Okay, now we have eight thick slices that we're going to dip in uh, chocolate. Now I'm just using. Uh, Kroger brand um, chocolate chips there. You can use milk chocolate, but I'm using the semi-sweet. But one thing that I do, and this is a tip that you might want to use, is I put a little bit of gulp wax in my chocolates. And the reason I do that is that it will help it harden and, and it'll make it look shinier. And it won't, the juice from the apple won't make the chocolate melt as bad. So if you want to put that in, it does not do anything to the taste. It won't hurt you. I use it in a lot of my candies. So I'm putting about, about two tablespoons in with, with about, um, looks like a cup and a half or so of chocolate chips. So I'm going to stick these in the microwave now and let them melt. Okay, now we have our chocolate and um, our paraffin melted together. We're going to prepare our pan. Remember uh, the tip where we spray this with a little bit of pan underneath our parchment paper so we don't have to wrestle with it while we're getting ready to put our items on. And in this instance, I like to spray the top as well so that the, the little apple, um, apple spider web pops, whatever they are, won't stick to them. So now, what we need to do is we need to take either a, knife, a plastic knife or a stick if you have it. And we need to put it into the sliced apple. And we're going to dip it or pour the chocolate over the apples, apple slices, and just cover it pretty well and let it kind of drip off the edges. Okay, we're gonna lay that flat there. The knife works out just fine for Halloween, unless you have little bitty kids and you, you know, you might think twice, but then we have uh, the sticks that we're using. These are um, cake pop sticks, so you could probably use um, Popsicle sticks or, you know, whatever you have, whatever you can come up with. Hobby Lobby has all kinds of stuff like that. We have our apple slices dipped in chocolate, and uh, we have a, a stick or a knife in each one, and so we're going to place them in the refrigerator to harden for about 10 minutes or so. Um, while we're letting our apple slices chill to harden the chocolate, I want to tell you what to do with what's left over. We don't want to waste anything. Later on, one of my videos will be how to make apple crisp. 
which is favorite of several people in our family. So what I do is times like this, I'll just take the apple that's left and peel it and slice it and put it in a freezer bag. That way you can uh, accumulate your slices and before long you've got a whole bag full of good apples to cook for your, to use to cook your um, apple crisp. Our apple pops have been in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and they're nice and firm as you can see. So now we're going to decorate them a little bit with some uh, white icing and um, it's just this vanilla that I get from Kroger and I melt it in a quart bag and do a little tiny hole in the end. I'm going to make it, try to make it look like um, spider webs, so we'll see. So we just do a little bit in the middle. Go around. Then we take our toothpick and we just do a little bit of a, drag it out a little bit. And you can be creative with this. That one looks like it needs a little more. Okay, we've finished our apple spider pops. And uh, they look really cute for Halloween. You have to try these. They're real easy and the kids will love them. Now remember our Bible verse for today and for the fall. I'm, I'm using this same Bible verse so that we can put it to memory. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. That's Psalms of 118.1. Be sure and come back and check out our next video. We've got something good coming. Thank you.